Keep your discus fish in a spacious aquarium. Discus are unlikely to breed if they are kept in a small container. Any discus tank should be at least 15 inches or 38 centimeter deep and keep a pair of discus in a tank that can hold at least 50 gallons which is 191 liters. If you are keeping 4 to 6 discus, use a tank that can hold at least 67 gallons or 255 liters. Thoroughly test other water conditions in your aquarium and adjust carefully. The temperature in your aquarium should be at least at 82 degrees Fahrenheit or 27.7 degrees centigrade or higher to create suitable breeding conditions. The water peel test results should be stable around 6.5 pH, never rising to 7 pH or higher. Change a portion of the water frequently. Change 10% of the water daily or 20 to 30% of the water twice a week. Feed your discus animal protein. A variety of live foods such as mosquito larva, adult brine shrimps, or white worm are best for providing adult discus with the nutrition they need for breeding. If live food is not available, feed them beef heart as a last resort. Flake food high in animal protein. Add spawning zones to the tank. Surfaces low to the ground may encourage the fish to lay eggs and will make eggs transfer easier if you plan to separate them from the parents. You may also use tall, up-tuned flower plants, a breeding cone from an aquarium store, or a short length of PVC pipe. Don't worry if the discus lay eggs directly on the floor, as long as the parents are defending the eggs from other fish. Watch for mated pairs. If a pair of discus fish start hanging out together in a corner, cleaning, spawning area, or acting aggressive to other discus, this is likely a male and a female discus and they should spawn soon. Add methylene blue to the tank. A few drops of methylene blue added to the water helps protect the eggs from bacteria and fungus. Look for this substance at an aquarium store or online and add with eyedropper. Decide whether to raise the discus young with or without their parents. If all goes well, raising the young fry with parents may increase the survival rate significantly. Replace powerful filters with sponge filter or air stone. Tanks with fry should use gentle methods of water filtration and oxygenation to prevent sucking in fry or exhausting them with a constant current. Watch for the eggs hatching. After two or three days, the eggs should hatch. However, the young fish or fry typically remain attached to the egg site for some time. Reduce water level before fry detach but it is optional. Within a few days of hatching, the fry should detach and move to the parent sides where they feed from the parent skin. Discus strains with light coloring may be harder for the fry to locate. Remove the surfaces eggs were attached to if the fry attempt to feed from it. Feed with baby brine shrimps four or five days after the fry have been swimming. Once the fry have been swimming freely for about four days, start supplementing their diet with a tiny amount of live baby brine shrimps four times a day. Thanks for watching guys and if you have some questions please feel free to leave your comments and I will be glad to answer your questions. You can now breed your discus with this basic information. Thank you 
And please don't forget to subscribe only here at Dexter's World.